Okay, Parsha Nitzav and Vayelech, and we're getting right up to Rosh Hashanah. So uh, this last Wednesday I was in New York with about a thousand Hasidim with very long tayas at a conference called the Jewish Business Networking Conference. And the uh, vibe there was amazing. They had three motivational speakers. And I'm going to give you one story that I heard which was, I thought, very impactful. So this guy who was not Orthodox, uh, he said, I'm the bad Jew. And they said, no, you're a good Jew, especially after the story he told. He was fishing with his dad as a kid, and he was about 10 years old, I think, and they'd been fishing all day, they didn't catch anything, and at the end of the day, he finally got a big one, and he reeled it in, and it was a beautiful rainbow-colored fish, and he's so proud of himself that he caught a big fish, and his father looks at him and he says, you have to throw the fish back into the water. And the kid's looking, but yeah, we were here all day, what's going on? And he says, look at the sign where we're fishing, and the sign said, uh, no fishing after 7 p.m., and it was about 7.04. And the kid had to throw the fish back into the water. And he goes, I knew in my life I'm never going to see a fish like that. And that's how I felt. And he goes, but actually, I've seen that fish the rest of my life, because every time I had a decision to make in business, and I had to choose between a more righteous decision and a less righteous, I looked at that, I saw that fish in my head, and it reminded me the decision I'm supposed to make. And there were stories like that throughout the day of the conference, saying in Elul, you have to, because these are all business people, saying you have to make righteous decisions in business. And the other part of their uh, conversations were about work-life balance, that you have to take care of your family and not just be working all the time. So, um, and connected to the Parsha, there's a very peculiar phrase in the uh, Parsha. It says that, um, you, that uh, it uses this phrase, Laman Sefot HaRavah Erat Sameyah. And the, the commentaries are confused what this phrase means. It says that a person will say in his heart, I'm going to uh, follow my own thinking, and it's as if you're adding water to the thirsty. I think today we would say preaching to the choir. We tell ourselves ideas, and we say, oh, we know better. And God says, well, actually, if you think you know better, here's what's going to happen. We're, God is not going to forgive you. He's going to bring that smoke on you and the, uh, for violating the, the, uh, the Torah. And it says, He will erase your name from the heavens. I think the idea is that your name is what you transmit to your children and the relationships that you have with the people around you. And I think what we need to do is look for the signs and remind ourselves of the right uh, decisions we should be making. Have a good